Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be showing you how to um, uh, do the Twixter effect on After Effects. Okay, so you want to download this in the description. I'm not going to show you how to download it because that's not the purposes of this video. But once you've got it installed, um, you want to open up After, After Effects and import your clip. Um, let me just find a clip. There we go. Okay, so then you want to go to this composition button and you want to find out where you hit the person uh, so it's the roundabout there so uh, about there okay so before you do anything you want to hit this button here and then go to layer time enable time remapping and layer frame blending pixel motion and as soon as you do this, I advise you to go to Composition, Settings, and whatever it is, add one minute on extra. I'm just going to minimise the screen down, and then I'm going to extend the timeline. The clip on the timeline. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to enable the effect. So let's go to Plugins and Talk Stuff. From here, um, you want to find out your frame rate, so you just go over to Project and find out the frame rate. Mine's 59.94 FPS, 59.94. 59.94 will do better than uh, 29 point whatever or 30 FPS. Um, okay, so once you've done that, you just want to go to, to your timeline, go down to the arrow, go to effects, go to Twixter. And you want to go to output control, and from here, you want basically just want to find out where you just about hit him. You don't want to do the slow motion. Um, uh, you don't want to do the slow motion um, when there's a lot of action on the um, clip because it goes all distorted and it looks really bad. So shot is about here and I'm gonna do it from here so I'm gonna start it from when he reloads starts to reload which is about there so you want to come one frame back before you want it to start and click stopwatch and then you want to go one or two frames forward and then put this down to whatever one you want I would say either 1 to 15 um, you just gotta play around with that and see what you like and then once you want the slow motion to stop just go one, um, one frame before you want it to stop and you want to click this little diamond button here and then go two frames forward whatever one you said to do and enable this to 100 so the clip can carry on as normal and that's around about it guys um, it's a quick tutorial uh, it's my first one so if you liked it please rate and subscribe um, if you want to like like the video and thanks for watching guys have a nice day and peace out